impulse arises, how do I tell the difference, whether it's from the truth or from the ego? It has a different quality and it has a material difference. And the difference is that the, that the ego's action is loud. Oh. It's demanding, it's insisting, it's opinionating, it's forcing, it's pushing, it's loud. I want to do that, that's the right thing to do. Yes, yes, it's a good thing to do. I believe in that, I want that, I desire that, you know. I insist on that, that's my opinion. Then you know, uh-uh, that's the ego. But the truth impulse is, it's binary in nature. You know, people, uh, when I say the truth impulse is binary, people are like shocked because the soul and the truth and these are all these dimensionless, cosmic, uh, incense, sticky concepts. But if you move into that state of, of self-realization, which is a deepening process, it's not something final, uh, you'll start to feel a yes and a no, a yes and a no. It is pushing the system into a yes action or a no, ret retracting or pushing. So you'll feel that difference very fast and if you have, you know, taken up practices, whatever they may be, over the years, that doesn't take you very long to find that difference out. It's just a shift of mode, of compass, because where you come from is from the traditional uh, Advaita teachings and they're very powerful teachings. What is spoken about here is new, and it's the future of spirituality. The future of spirituality is terrestrial and corporeal because the cosmos has been mapped already over the last few millennia. Mm. From the post-Vedic period onward all over the world, we have gone into the cosmos. We have experienced samadhi. We know what happens. We know that when we are in samadhi, we are not in touch with the body. Or when we are in transcendental experiences, whether we are taking a chemical of some sort, or long hours of meditation, or anything that takes us out of the system. We know what happens, but what we don't know as yet is what happens deep down in the cellular nature of this system, in the atomic nature of this system, actually going down into the cells and laterally expanding this consciousness. And that's what is spoken about here. So that Joyousness will increase once you start going with the truth very concretely, not basing your decisions on your socialization, but on the truth impulses that come from the center of the system, the antar guru, your inner master. <laughs> Finally, the duty of the guru is to show the antar guru, <laughs> you know. And that is what is the antar guru experience, surrender, surrender. So that would be a step, the first step. And then it automatically takes on its own sadhana. You will know what to do next and next and next. Namaskar. <laughs>